So it is about 2.30 on a Saturday afternoon and we're here at Edmonton Fringe Festival. The show has opened and we have another show tonight at 10 p.m. A big part of Fringe Festivals that people who aren't performers don't really know about is pitching. You have to walk around and try to convince people that your show is the show they could, should come see. Even though there's tons of other ones in the program, some of whom are starring their cousin and their neighbor or, you know, companies that they have seen every year for the last 10 years. We haven't been to Edmonton since 2010. We don't know a single soul here. And we're pretty bad at doing pitches on convincing people to come see our show. Would you agree, David? Uh, yeah, I'd say yeah. <laughs> so today, we tried to talk to a few people before we had even had breakfast, which, by the way, we just finished at 2.30 in the afternoon. So, David, I just would like you to quickly give us the pitch that you gave to the lady, and then we decided perhaps we shouldn't talk to anyone else until we had had coffee. Ready? Pretend like I'm the lady. Here we go. Hi, can I tell you about my show? It's a little business at the big top. One guy, me, tells a whole story, a circus comedy, circus thing. At the circus, and I play all the parts, and it's very funny. You should see it. It's uh, the guy at the popcorn stand with the... the <laughs> so do you think she bought a ticket? I'm thinking she may not have gone for it. Okay, but... She may have been the lady that called for the ambulance that came and <laughs> asked if I was all right. But now we've had a cup of coffee. We've had some quiche. And we're going to go back out there, right? Right. We're going to do the pictures like yesterday. Yesterday's pictures. All right, let's hear it. Hi. A little business at the big top. <laughs> One performer, which is me, tells a whole sweet comic story at the circus playing all the parts using no props and everything I say is gibberish. See? Come on, buy a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> and your kid would like this too. And your monkey. Well, it's not a monkey? Oh, I'm sorry. That's a horrible disfigurement. I'm so sorry. Anyway, here's a banana for your... Oops. Like I said, we're not all that good at pitches. 